notice drop D is so nasty that you smell it. That's why you make that face. <laughs> no, that was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dropping some D over there. So before you start poking too much fun, we showed up at work today with these shirts on and did not coordinate. So shut up. Don't poke well, we fun. Show, I mean, we show up to work every day with these shirts on because they're something like uniform. It. Yes, yeah. uniform. <laughs> <laughs> we have uniforms, yeah. Need you to go ahead and wear the uniform today. Yes, and okay. work on Sunday. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so instead of hearing us banter like knuckleheads, we're going to talk about some cool guitars. Two old white dudes playing metal guitars on yes. ESP. Yes, washed up gentlemen, yeah. Yeah. gentle lads. We won't do that again. But the focus today is on this E2, this ESP E2 guitar. What is the and E2 it, designation? What does that mean? It is a... I know, I want to see if you know. It is made in Japan with the other high-end stuff, yeah. the custom shop stuff. It's made by the same people. It's just made with, with different, pra not different practices necessarily, but there are ways to cut costs to make it more affordable than the custom shop but it's, stuff. Yeah, right, which is custom shop stuff is made Three where? to four to five thousand and up and dollars. made where? In Japan. Okay. Am I Ooh. correct? Yeah. I think so. What's made in the USA? They have a USA custom. Okay. Got it. Got it? Yeah. But this is made by the same people. From what I understand, it's made from the same people, made by the same people. Speaking in the wrong language. <laughs> but it has an, an, an old airplane ashtray. Remember these? Oh, yeah. No, it's not an ashtray, but it's, it it's looks for like. the, the pickup. That's pretty cool. But I like it. I think it's neat. It takes me back to when my dad used to smoke on a commercial airplane <laughs> in the 80s. And, and everybody Everybody did smoked yeah. on the commercial plane in the 80s. But this is the E2 Eclipse BB. And the Eclipse Bravo, is like Bravo. their best-selling body shape. That means, yes, it means it's like the single cut yeah. like this. And uh, generally all the I Eclipse, have an Eclipse as well. Yes, you do. Because of the body shape. That is the body shape. Yeah. So... There are Eclipses in the LTD line, mm -hmm. the E2, USA, and, and the custom shop and all that. So, I was checking out some of the just the bells and whistles of this guitar, and I was really, really, hey Chris, ding dong. Uh, I was pretty amazed at um, just some of the extras you get for the price it's on this guitar. Pretty outrageous. You get locking tuners. Goto? Are they Goto? Yeah, and you get shallower strap locks installed on the guitar ready to go that one right there um and this one e emgs 81 and 60 right right Eight which i'm kind of used to the 81 85 combination yeah. but from what i understand 81 60 is also a very popular yeah yeah combination yeah both ceramic magnet ceramic active pickups that shred the they're 80, very active the 81 is like shreddy mcshredderson i mean that's that, thing, that yeah. thing will slice through soup <laughs> Damn, <laughs> it will, though. Yeah. I mean, you heard it. I mean. Thing Perfectly out of, out of tune. Big frets, and yeah. I'm not used to I'm not used I to noticed that, that too. That you you're not be used to gentle. If you're not used to playing on a guitar with really big, tall frets, you can, you can, uh, you can push too hard. Yes, you can. Bend everything that's right. sharp. And that's what I do when I do this. See, listen. Yeah, you're doing it. But listen. Yeah. It's much better that way when you don't push so hard. But for the, the guys that want to play fast and you don't want to push hard, it's great because yeah. it there's some compensation there with the tall frets that make it where it's a little easier to set up with low action. So it's, it's really cool. It's really nice. And, and the, the silver binding on this really sets it off and makes it feel kind of, uh, kind of metal, but classy at the same time. Not that metal can't be classy, but you know, but it, it just looks nice. It's, it's uh, Looks sick, like my my seven year old says now. Dad, that's sick. sick. Oh man, <laughs> I get it. Yeah, that's sick. My wife, so, my wife goes, "What do you mean by sick, Harrison?" He goes, well, "It's sick." 
he, do, he won't explain <laughs> he goes, it. It's just sick. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, don't you know? Well, anyway, this has an ebony fretboard, which feels feels great. It, it honestly, it took me a little bit to get used to the neck because I've been playing some other brands mm -hmm. quite a bit, mm -hmm. and um, but this feels great now that I've played it for you know it takes. Uh, 15 minutes to get settled into it, you yeah. know, and it, it does feel great. I mean, it's, there's nothing that keeps me from playing anything I want to play. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not too thin where I feel like I can't, you know, really put the, the meat into it, you know, yeah. give it, put the, give it the raw, proper rogering. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so it's got volume, volume, tone. And uh, just so you understand, that is, the neck or the bridge and this is the neck and it's because a lot of people spend a lot of time in the uh, bridge position so they make it a little easier to get yeah. to and I do like the fact that it is out of the way so when I'm strumming like a lot like a like a uh, those three pickup guitars that have single coils in them mm -hmm. with the knob right there yeah I'm always hitting it in fact I've I'm about to take the knob off of the one I play a lot so anyway so very cool um, adjustable, intonatable, two-piece tail, two-piece bridge. Yeah. So. I, it, I like the the extra touch of the brushed nickel mm. covers on the EMG pickups. You don't see that. I I don't know that I've ever seen that. So that's really? really cool. Yeah. You don't get out much, do you? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is cool because it kind of I don't know. It kind of makes me feel like it kind of ties everything together. You got yeah. this bright chrome and you got this flat black. It kind of is a nice nice touch. Mm -hmm. Ebony board, everything else is mahogany, right? The neck. Mahogany body, maple neck, oh, or maple I'm sorry, top. maple top. It is a and maple top. It is top. a three-piece maple neck. Oh, shucks. It is. That is nice. Yeah. But see. Do you know the benefit of God the three Rob pieces glued together? I do. Tell us, though. Well, you, you got three pieces glued together with opposing grains. So they're like fighting, pushing against each other all the time, which causes a lot less bowing and warping and warpage that makes it more stable that's how i was explained to that's me right and i mean many, and, many moons ago. and they do you know there's some brands that do that pretty much standardize a five piece mm -hmm. neck you know mm -hmm. and they'll do like mahog or uh, maple and uh like bubinga or something mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. just to kind of give it some flair but it's yeah. it's also there but you to, get those grains fighting against each other and pushing against each other and it keeps them locked in like that mm! <laughs> for the methylness <laughs> But yeah, it does have locking tuners, which is really nice. Makes for quick string changes, yeah. very stable. I played it. This is the first time anybody's ever played this guitar today. So took a little bit for the strings to settle in. But mm -hmm. once they did, this thing is in. Mm -hmm. It's in. I did have to retune that because I tuned that real quick down to well, D before we you started. you were giving it. You were getting after it. I was giving it the business. <laughs> yes. But anyway, so that's the, that's the E2 Eclipse. ESP. ESP all the way, baby. Beautiful. It is beautiful. It's nice. It's classy, simple, straightforward. I'll play a few tunes. Please. Two, two tones. A few tones. Two tones. All two tone bread over here. Two tone Timmy. <laughs> so um, we're going to do a little cleaner tone with, I'll go through the pickup setting. Oh. oh. You want to cut that out and edit back in or not just... how's everybody doing today so you can it's very aggressive can... those pickups are hot they are hot they are very active yeah okay both pickups As I'm strumming harder, I push my fingers down harder and it goes out of tune. I push my fingers <laughs> into my eyes. Metal song. Ooh. Uh, 
middle channel on the uh, we're using a TC50 from Mesa Boogie, and this is a uh, moderate two. to uh, high, sort of high gain. <laughs> You can't wild. do it. If I remember, and the neck. If I remember correctly, it's the EMG 81 that Zach uses, and it yeah. really brings out those uh, pick harmonics. It makes it to where you can't not play it. Right. E2. And the great, you know what the best thing about it is? I'm playing it. After that? What? You can get it right here at moreguitars.com and more music in Evansville, Indiana. We got it. It's here waiting for you. I mean, all you got to do is call. Yeah. I mean, this you one could just be click yours. on it on the internet and, you know, the next couple of days it arrives at your door. It's pretty simple. Boom. Try it out. Boomtown. <laughs> anyway, so... Call us, chat. Make sure you go to our website and sign up for our newsletter. You see all the cool stuff that comes out every single day in our shop. Whatever's going, whatever comes in, the next day it's on our website and you get to see it before anybody else. Uh, so there you go. Subscribe, click the little belly thing on if there is still a bell thing here on YouTube and uh, like us on Facebook or something like that. It's pretty, pretty easy. Yeah. We're the good guys. We're here to help you. So please stop by moreguitars.com. Thanks for joining us. One more. <laughs>